Hello, and welcome to Peter Scott Cars. Today we have this 2012 Mini Cooper D. Just starting with the front of the car, I'll get as close as I can so you can see there's no stone chips of any note. As I get very, very close to the edge of the bonnet, there are some very minor stone chips. Just put my fingernail next to a couple of them so you can see how insignificant they are. As to be expected, and certainly nothing more than that. Have to be really close to even notice them at all. There's certainly no scuffs or marks to any of the bumper corners. As I take a step back and look down the entire driver's side of the car, can't see any parking dents. All four of the alloy wheels really nice. A couple of the alloy wheels do have very, very minor cosmetic marks to the edges, but other than that, all four really nice. Can't see anything to point out at all on the driver's front wing. That does include the plastic arch, free from any scuffs or marks. The car has the contrast black roof and mirror covers. Both of those mirror covers, free from any scuffs or marks. Really am struggling to see anything to point out on the driver's door. Get a close up underneath the door handle and highlight there's no marks or scratches. Can be quite common, particularly on the driver's door. Can't see any chips to the door edge. Once again, can be quite common. Onto this rear panel in identical condition. Once again, struggling to see anything detrimental to point out. Plastic arch again, free from any scuffs. Just taking you into the car from the Driver's side, really, really nice inside. It's got the half lever interior. All seats really nice. Just get a close-up of the wing and edge of the driver's seat to show you that. That is just a shadow from the steering wheel. I can assure you it's not a mark to the driver's seat. The car's had the mini overmats fitted from new. So all carpets and footwells really nice as well. Get a close-up of the driver's footwell to highlight that. Seats in the rear really do look like they've hardly ever been sat in. Just bringing you around to the rear of the vehicle. As I mentioned at the start of the video, all bumper corners, free from any scuffs or marks. Can't see anything to point out on the tailgate of the car. Just taking you inside the luggage compartment, all nice and clean. Can't see any scratches to the interior plastics. They are the genuine mini mats fitted from new. Done the job, protects all the carpets. Carpet underneath there in perfect order. Couple of very, very minor chips to the rear of the bumper. Once again, have to be really close to even notice them. Coming round to the passenger side of the car. As I look down the entire side, exactly the same as the drivers. Can't see any parking dents. Once again, just get a close up of all bumper corners to show you there's no scuffs or marks. Plastic arch again, free from any scuffs. Can't see anything to point out on this rear panel. No scratches, chips, etc. Moving on to the Passenger front door, once again, really am struggling to see anything to, to mention at all. No marks underneath the door handle, can't see any chips to the door edge. All seats really, really nice. Over mats have protected all the carpets. really is a lovely example inside and out other than those very minor stone chips which are to be expected and a couple of very minor marks to the alloy wheels really am struggling to see anything else to mention at all a really really nice example it is worth noting we have all our vehicles independently inspected by the AA that is 128 point inspection, which includes a five mile road test by an AA engineer just to make sure the car is correct on the road. 
You can view the 128 point AA inspection report on our website at www.peterscottcars.co.uk. All our contact information is also on the website, so if you do require any further info about this Mini Cooper D, then please not hesitate to get in touch. There you have our full walk around video. Hopefully you did find that helpful and thanks so much for taking the time to watch.